Hey, welcome to the follow through. We're in Psalm 121 all week long. David, right? Real guy, some real issues. Uh, enemies, people trying to kill him, you know, through a, a many parts of his life, many times. Uh, even when he was a shepherd boy, bears, lions, and things like that attacking the sheep. And, and he just, with God's strength, able to defeat those things. And even Goliath, right? We remember that. And he's the one writing this. And, uh, and so he knows a thing or two about the reality of evil. Uh, we don't have a lock on that. We don't have, right? It's not just that we deal with evil. I think actually we, we probably soft pedal evil and explain it away uh, because the reality of it might be just too terrible for us to deal with. But it is real. Uh, and, and so it is something we have to deal with. And so let's, let's read this. I'm, 121 verse 7 it says the Lord will keep you there's that word keep again keep you from all evil and he will keep your life notice that word keep just keeps coming back right no pun intended um, and so it, it, it's not just that he makes sure it never goes anywhere near you but it's that word that, that, that again keep meaning, meaning the one who guards you uh, the one who watches over you the one who protects you he's He's there. He's got power against those things, against evil. We pray that in the Lord's Prayer. Lord, deliver us from evil because evil's real and, and, it, and it is a threat. And, and so we can know that we are God's children, that we are loved by Him, right? Jesus bled and died, endured all that from evil men uh, and evil forces. And, and again, there, there's not just human beings that are evil, but there's evil itself, right? The, the forces of darkness uh, that the devil commands and that the devil right, sends after us. Uh, we can know that he's won victory over those things. As he bled and as he died, he took all of the power that sin has, just destroyed sin and its ability to hold us, its ability to dominate us, uh, and God has set us free. And so let's remember that as we look at these words remember he's the one that's going to hold on to your life and, and and guard your life and be there for you every single day so carve out times fight for that time with god every day in the bible that time as you're praying and as you're just you know asking god lord what does this mean for me what are you trying to say to me how are you trying to comfort me or encourage me and challenge me whatever it is that we would listen and that we would um, do what these follow-throughs are trying to do, which is to help us follow through, to actually act on these things and, uh, and have them be an incredible uh, spiritual benefit for us every single day, all right? So I'm praying you're having a great day. Um, and uh, if so, let me know in the comments what's happening, uh, some of the great things God's doing as you sense uh, His keeping you in all of your life, all right? We'll talk to you next time for another follow-through.